Hello fellow collectors and welcome to the channel, welcome back. So I just wanted to share some more um, recent pickups of some of the Star Wars cars I got recently. So we'll go ahead and start sharing some of these. So uh, this first one, so this is from the, the 1977 set. Um, and you can see this is number two. And this is kind of the first year rookie car, you could say for C3PO and R2D2. Because remember, the if the blue uh, borders um, is the first run in 1977 and cards one through eight are the kind of the first cards of the major uh, characters in Star Wars there. <clears throat> And then same deal here. We got Obi Wan's um, little first year card, rookie card. Really nice card of his. So um, all I'm gonna say about this. So this is an error, or this is the corrected version um, of the error card for C3PO. So um, just do a little Google search. Just be prepared for what you might might come up. But uh, this is the corrected version of the C3PO card. And believe it or not, this card runs about 30, 40 bucks on eBay right now. And, and I got all these cards for about uh, 25 cents a piece. So um, got a bunch of the C3PO ones there. I think five of them total. All right. I love this because I do love collecting the, the Vader cards. Um, love the checklist there with a the little Vader picture there. Now this card, so it's a little bit different. This is from the Return of the Jedi set. And all the cards in the Return of the Jedi set have the red border. Um, just a really nice card of Vader there. You can see how shiny his helmet is. So uh, really enjoy that one. And then another checklist card. Like I said, this is from the Return of the Jedi set there. Now these cards, these are really cool too. So this is from, I want to say these are from 1977 also. Let's take a look, oh, 1980, excuse me, but they are from Burger King. So Burger King put out some cards. Um, so uh, some Burger King Star Wars cards. So a little unique and probably a little bit more rare than some of the others. So we got Chewbacca there. And then we got uh, Luke and Vader from the Burger King sets there too. So I'll show you the back. Empire Strikes Back, 1980. And then this one, oh, there we go. This one is from 1977 of the Burger King sets. So, um, uh, this one I would guess would probably end could end up being a nice little amount of money down the road. So, you know what's always interesting with these cards that you have to kind of like cut out or break apart is I just wonder how they can actually be graded because it's not like you're gonna have a clean edge. So yeah, I got a few more here to show you. So all of these cards here are all from the Return of the Jedi set. There we got uh, Luke and Leia at the very beginning of the movie trying to escape from jo or Jabba the Hutt. Imperial Guards there. It's real cool. And like I said, they're all red border, unlike with the first, um, the 77 set where you have different colors. There's a great shot of Luke there with the lightsaber. Uh, just a real nice one of the Emperor. Like that one a lot. Another one of the Emperor. His red eyes. Got two of that one. And we got one of old Han and Leia kissing. What a great card of Vader there. And then another good one of Luke. All right. So this card comes from the Empire Strikes Back set. And I really like these just because of the color difference. You have these bright colors on there. And I think this one actually runs about four or five bucks there. I love this one of Vader here. Another cool one of Vader of him and uh, Luke and the, uh, the I am your father scene there. Luke, and that's when our Vader and uh, when he's make, or putting Han in the Carbonite. Got two of those. This one, I'm really excited about this one. You got Boba Fett and um, Vader here. This is uh, the Empire set is the first uh, time uh, Boba Fett actually shows up. So um, these cards could end up being worth a decent amount of money. So real excited about those. I got two of those. Actually, three of those. The table scene in uh, Empire Strikes Back of Vader. And then another one here of Boba Fett. So, um, and some of these Boba Fett cards are going for some good, a good amount of money. All right, I've got a few more cards to show all of you guys here. Um, so we got this one of the Adat. Love, love the Adats. I actually have the original Adat uh, toy. I made a video about it and I'll post the link right there. Um, so it's just a sweet looking card of them. I'm not quite exactly sure yet 
of what is Yoda's uh, kind of like his what would be considered his first card, a rookie card with Star Wars. Um, this card is a beautiful card of his though, just a nice solo shot of him there. Uh, and I got two of those. Um, so I may, I may get that grade down the road too. Love these sticker cards too. Um, so I picked up a few of these. This one has Vader and Chewbacca together. Um, and then got one of old Jabba the Hutt, which was really awesome. R2D2 one also. And then I got two of these of Boba Fett. And as popular as he is right now, um, I can imagine these might be worth a decent amount of money. Um, so these might be a good uh, candidates to get graded down the road. And before I finish up here, after I'd made that first video, I'm like, gosh, I need to uh, uh, buy or find a PSA card to get. And I picked this one up. Now, it is not Tops, It is OPG. So, um, and normally those have a little bit of a smaller print run than Tops. Um, so, and it has everyone's two favorite droids, uh, C-3PO and R2-D2, and it's a PSA 7. I just wanted to get my hands on a PSA uh, card of these. I'm going to try and get a few more, and I'll probably send some of these off myself. Um, but just a really cool card. And like I said, even though it is a 7, um, I still think uh, this could uh, have some decent value down the road. Um, I think the reason why this one got a 7 is because of the kind of the white looking edge there. And with all these cards, except some of the Empire Strikes Back cards, uh, having white borders, the rest of them having all these colored borders, any little dings are going to show up pretty easily. So um, real happy with this. So hope everyone is doing well. If you have any questions about Star Wars cards, just leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, everyone, may the Force be with you.